Oh my god, there's raptors on the loose. Okay, hang on. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Chaos Theory miniseries in Jurassic World Evolution 2. I've got some wild plans for today's session, including actually opening up the park, and I'm very excited to see how that plays out. I've received some fair warning from the comments with regards to things that might go down, so I will keep them all in mind. Thank you very much for that. And I'm curious to see just how we'll uh, outdo our film predecessor, I suppose, from the alternate universe, so is it really a predecessor? Before I get into all that, and before I actually open the zoo, just one thing I would like to touch on really quickly, and that is the schedule for Jurassic World Evolution 2 on the channel. I've received a couple of questions about it, that's entirely fair, of course, and the plan is, just to make sure everyone knows moving forward, to release an episode of JWE2 Chaos Theory miniseries every Tuesday and every Saturday at midnight Eastern Time. Now, sometimes, especially lately, YouTube's been acting up with regards to the um, processing of videos into HD. So sometimes it might be a little late uh, in terms of hours, a few hours here or there. Uh, if that does happen, typically I will post an update on Twitter uh, or I will share an update in the uh, Discord as well. Links to both of those are in the description down below. Don't hesitate to join, uh, not just for updates, but of course, just for you know a great community to hang out with as well. But uh, that's the plan right now. So every Tuesday and every Saturday at midnight, give or take, there should be a new episode of JWE2. And then every Thursday, we'll be getting a new episode of Planet Zoo, continuing our franchise mode Let's Play and uh, seeing where Elite Zoo South takes us. But uh, that's the plan right now. It might shift a little bit in the future. Hopefully, y'all are happy with that schedule overall. I One thing I was sort of uh, trying to figure out is, would it be better to have JWE2 happen sort of back-to-back, -back? so it would be Tuesday and Thursday, or would it be better to have it uh, sort of spread out, so you have a little bit at the beginning of the week, a little bit at the end of the week? I guess that makes it all close to around the weekend, I, I guess. It's a hard thing to balance. <laughs> it's a hard thing to balance, but I hope you all like the sound of that. Let me know, of course, your opinion. If you would rather a slightly different schedule, uh, you know, share in the comments. But of course, be, be reasonable about it. We're not going to get JWE2 on a daily basis. I do like to spread stuff out. There's a lot going on on the channel. But I am, of course, also, with that said, always open to, uh, to feedback and, and, and thoughts on that. Again, one last thing to mention, folks, before we open the park, and that is that if you've been enjoying JWE2 on the channel so far, if you would like to see it continue, Please don't hesitate to let me know. Leave that like and comment down below. It does make a very big difference. It really helps me just decide what to do on the channel, what to pick up the pace on, what to slow down, etc., etc. Helps me with things like scheduling. All right, with all that rambling out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, get the party started. I think there's no reason to wait any longer, right? We are operating at a, a deficit, uh, at, 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 at quite a deficit, in fact. And there are no, from my understanding, unless I'm mistaken and I've missed something, there's no loan in JWE2, which is wild to me. Uh, I've not seen any mention of it anywhere. I've not seen it pointed out anywhere, like, go oh, take a bank loan. Um, so that blows my mind. I do see lawyer fees, though, so that's funny. I'm surprised it's zero. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, aren't we paying, like, a retainer? Anyway, uh, <laughs> realism aside, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a little concerning that in the case of a full-fledged emergency, there is no uh, backup cash. I think that's, uh, that's, very, that's very strange for, for, for many reasons, and I've, I've got a lot of warnings, like I said, in the comments with regards to how uh, money is uh, north, not necessarily forthcoming. So I'm a little nervous about where we are right now, so we're going to open the park right away, and I will also take a look at uh, some of the technologies that I should have been looking at previously, uh, and those are technologies having to do with safety and uh, particularly um, storm defense. Now, I do try to keep to a minimum any uh, any sort of meta thinking as often as possible, uh, but this is, to be fair, something I should have done um, a long time ago when I was previously talking about switching up what I'm researching, and uh, I think it does make sense as well, since we do know that there are, this is a stormy part of the world, right? Uh, Hammond and Co. might not have paid attention to that and made proper preparations, but we certainly can. Unfortunately, to get to these storm defense upgrades that aren't even like... I, they don't even apply like across the board. I don't think uh, certain important structures like fences and stuff can get storm defense, right? Uh, so, so to get there though, we have to get uh, this first, and that's $500,000. That'll take us below a million. So it makes me a little nervous. I do wish I'd... Uh, sort of noted that sooner and, 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 and budgeted for that sooner, but uh, it is something to think about. Um, we'll, we'll get this, I need to remember to get this 
as soon as we get to maybe 1.5. I'd like to stay above 1 million at all times. I feel like, especially since we can't get loans, that's a good minimum budget to have because nothing happens without money in this game. That's why I find it so wild that you can't actually take a loan out. Nothing happens. No expeditions, no uh, refueling, right? If we Can you imagine having no money and then also running out of fuel and then needing to spend money to refuel our power stations, our generators, and and and, and that's going to cost how much? Like over here, look at that. Oh my God. That'll take us below a million. Like, geez, right? Everything needs money. With that said, actually, before, sorry, I keep saying I'm just about to open the park, but I just want to verify a couple things uh, to make sure we're ready for, you know, what's coming, right? This is probably not a bad idea. Getting the power stations, and then as, as, as y'all suggested in the comments again, when I say I read all the comments, I mean that very genuinely, by the way. I do read all the comments, and I do try to take them all to heart and implement them however possible. But uh, some of y'all were suggesting that I should very quickly start using the backup generators as exactly that, backup generators, and we should get these power stations and substations up and running. You're probably not wrong, and you know what? This research investment will keep us above a million. Of course, some salaries will take us below in due time, but hopefully we're able to counteract that. So why don't we go ahead and... Uh, Get some scientists on on, uh, on 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 these power substations and stuff like that, so that we can hopefully um, move forward with a bit more assurances, I suppose, at least as far as powering our fences is concerned. Start that task. I hope I don't live to regret it. The other thing is, I wish I hadn't rested my scientists so much because that's also expensive. But hey, it is what it is. We've spent our money. We've made our bed. And now it's time to uh, lay in it, I suppose. Let us open Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, and having an ice cream. Come on, then. I'm buying. Welcome to Jurassic Park. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. I was I was really hoping for the full track there. <laughs> I was really hoping for the whole thing, but I, I we'd probably get copyright slammed so hard if that happened just on YouTube. All right, we got hotels now. As your guest count increases, you need to add hotels to keep a high accommodation rating. We've got uh, hotels do not need to be placed near anything to provide accommodation, but they do provide visibility around them. So you can wake up to you know a T Rex out your window and stuff like that. You know nothing can go wrong with that. That's all good. And accommodation rating is a component part of guest comfort very well. We'll also need emergency shelters. Ensure there are emergency shelters near all populated areas of your park to improve shelter coverage. All right, very well. Uh, open your emergency shelters during dangerous storms and dinosaur escapes to avoid a hit to your safety rating. Yeah, you don't say. The fact that an emergency shelter needs to exist at all at a dinosaur park should like give you an F for your safety uh, rating, I would say, right? <laughs> like you should be so secure that you don't need those. I mean, obviously you should have them anyway, but like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Like that would make me very nervous to know they'd have to build these. Like, well, mm -mm. so I guess a storm shelter is, 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 is reasonable. Shelter coverage is a component part of guest comfort very well. And restrooms as well. Construct restrooms. Of course, I mean, we know how restrooms work, right? Um, <laughs> I hope. So far. Jurassic Park has been an almost unqualified success. However, we do want to increase our guest comfort. This can be accomplished by making sure that when nature calls, there is a restroom nearby. Shelters will be appreciated if, and I repeat, this is a big if, if some of our animals escape their enclosures. And the closer our hotels are to the dinosaurs, the more likely it is the guests will enjoy their stay. And we most definitely want that. All right, I wasn't sure if I was going to be uh, interrupted any any further. Let's pause for a quick second while we place a couple things down. And actually, apart from just placing these new things down, I will be making an adjustment over here as well. Um, I should have done this before we opened the zoo, perhaps, but I will be editing our track. It's been pointed out to me, and I didn't realize at the time, but it's been pointed out to me that we can actually attach this gate directly to the fence. And uh, that makes sense. 5,000, you know, I'm not going to spend that money. We are sub 1 million, and I was just talking about how staying above a million is so important. So we're not going to take that risk right now. Uh, we will make that change soon, though, as soon as we end up back above a million, because there are some essential expenses we have, such as restrooms and uh, emergency bunkers and, and amenities, right? So that's going to cost us a fair bit, actually, over 125K. So let's, uh, let's, let's take care of that first. I feel like a central location for the restroom is not a bad idea. We have a viewing gallery over here. We have the ride over here. So why not, you know, before or after you're done the ride, you can go to the washroom really quickly if your uh, nerves are, 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 are hitting you, I guess. So we can pop this down over here. 
I don't know if that's the best spot for it. <laughs> Put a restroom right after the the, the, the the giant gate. That seems a little um, unfortunate as far as placement is concerned. We could do, yeah, the restroom over here perhaps, and then amenities over here. Uh, hotel, we'll figure out where we put the hotel, maybe a bit closer to um, the Velociraptors, right? I feel that's a cool spot, but we just gotta make sure there's enough room outside the, uh, the, the like, uh, what's it called? The track and stuff. I hope we don't have to adjust the track. Now let's go ahead and pop you down over here like so. Easily accessible, I think, for a couple things. Get our uh, path set up over here as well. Hook you up. There we go. The restroom. Let's go ahead and get our uh, small amenity. Oh, you're too big, aren't you? Oh, no. Okay, good. You will just fit. So I figure if we do like an amenity, maybe two down the line, I don't want to add a bunch right away. But if we add at least one for now, right over there, um, configure you. I mean, what kind of guests do we actually uh, have right now? I guess... I guess that's telling us everything we need to know. Donuts or steaks? Donuts or steaks? Donuts, I suppose. I mean, they, they hit the right uh, audience. Then we can get the uh, ice cream machine that Hammond was offering to buy from, I suppose. I do love that that first audio clip was just a continuation of the uh, audio clip from, uh, like, what they were saying at the end of the previous session. And this is kind of wild. Um, is this really all the options we have? I guess so. So we'll have to get the... Uh... Um, oh, you know what? Looks like looks like it's mostly uh, adventure guests. Looks like it's only adventure guests. So sure, let's get the uh, fossil display. It does. You can see double the cost of, of 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 running this joint, though. I wonder if we hold off for now, right? Just hold off for now. Wait until it starts being profitable, and then we start uh, improving it. Maybe, maybe not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and get ourselves. Sorry, not not an enclosure, uh, but. I guess you could call it an enclosure. An emergency bunker is next, I think. Let's keep it... It's kind of weird. It's like, you want the emergency bunkers to be close to where guests are going to be. Do you also want it to be close to the dinosaurs? You don't want to move people towards the dinosaurs when there's an emergency, right? You want to kind of keep them away. I feel like up over here is not a bad idea, right next to all the medical stuff. Um, so, you know, they're, 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 while, while, people, while humans aren't dinosaurs, there are maybe some overlapping medications available um, in, in, in the... Uh, in the medical area, right? I'm like flashing back personally to like the Terminator 3, talking about nostalgia and, and, and old movies, to Terminator 3 when uh, John Connor, I believe it is, uh, hits up a vet clinic to get some meds. All right, let's go ahead and pop this down over here. Uh, there you go. Yeah, a quarter of a million is all we have. Less than a quarter of a million. That makes me very uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. Restroom coverage is only 19%. That just dropped significantly, didn't it? Why? Why is that? What's going on here? Are you not getting enough power? Is it because this is under construction? Because it was it was much higher just moments ago. And it's going back up again now. Alright, I'm not exactly sure what impacts the restroom coverage over here. We'll we'll see. Uh, the other thing is that we need that accommodation rating as well. Shelter coverage is going up. Uh, can I... I don't need to open shelters right now or anything. I love how I click on the emergency bunker and you can hear the raptors like call there just momentarily. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at where are my views here? So shelter, low need, low need. Where's my actual coverage though? I need up over here apparently. Really? This is an empty just straight away. <laughs> Do we really need it that much up there? I've got a restrooms over here as well. Low need, high need, right when you arrive or right as you're leaving. All right, interesting enough. It's like, do I need to put another restroom down right after you land? Is that the best use of another 25k? Or or do I want to put a hotel down? You know, oh, we're out of power. That might explain why we are um, struggling a bit with coverage. Let's take a look here again. I, yeah, I, I can't, it popped right back down to zero. I'm very confused. <laughs> very confused. And it's not even showing us high need, low need anymore. All right. Interesting. Interesting. We are ready to research the medium electrified fence, but we're not going to start it right now. We've been okay. Ever since I've actually put down the uh, uh, source of water and stuff, we've been okay as far as um, animal escapes are concerned. So that's promising. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that research until we have a bit more money. I'm just... I mean, it's really cool to actually see... A lot of very a lot of excited people in hard hats. It looks like these are actually really nice uh, character models. Pretty good, like for the scale that you're normally going to be seeing them at. They're pretty good. It is such a long path to the center of the park, though. Oh my! 
such a long path. We have made 22k. What are our expenses looking like? Man. Okay, so last month, most of our expenses were on buildings. This month, we've already spent even more on buildings. Fair enough. Research has been quite expensive. If we can cut off our, our, uh, our expenses as far as uh, buildings are concerned, we'll be okay. Right? So if we can hold off on, on making new buildings, if we can hold off on making new buildings while we uh, start generating some income, we'll be okay. I think we've got the essentials down. Accommodation, I wouldn't mind. Whoops. I wouldn't mind getting the uh, small hotel down. It's 100k, though. It's 100k, and it's massive. Jeez. See, this is the thing about uh, these game modes sometimes, is like they let you move ahead without... Um, giving you like warning i guess or even unlocking what's to come like would i have done my track over here differently probably quite a bit differently um if i'd known some of the uh some of the new constructions we'd have to do right because i would like these guys to have a view from the hotel but maybe that's not uh, as possible as i'd like it to be maybe instead I'd, I'd give them a view of the uh more varied uh enclosure up over here right it's not a bad idea. 100k. I mean, you do have to spend money to make money. I just don't know how I feel about being at uh, 300k, you know? If I pop this down over here, we will need to supply more power as well. The closest power generator is... Oh, nearby, actually. All right, if we do this, it would be right outside the Jurassic Park gate, basically, because we're going to be shifting that over. And I'm, I'm okay with that, I think. I'm okay with that, I think. We would have to get the path over. I think we'll do it from out over there. All right, sure. Let's do that. Pop you down over here. I do hope this doesn't uh, bite me in the behind all right well as uh, as they say uh hold on to your butts i suppose real pricey getting real pricey i'm not doing this just like hurry along with the um with the uh objectives or anything i'm doing this because i feel like it'll generate some some income you know Pick you up like that oh that looks nice i quite like that actually there we go cool all right, and it looks like we're actually getting the decent coverage now that everything's uh, kind of all caught up. Let's go ahead and add some more fuel over here as well. Oh, God. Less than 200k. Are you kidding me? That's insanity. How much money are we making up over here? 40k. All right. Okay. Okay. Money's coming through. That's promising. You are profitable. That's promising. Can I now add something here to make you a bit more appealing to just audiences in general, right? Like... No one's really having a good time here. <laughs> Very few people are having a good time here. I could get a fossil display going. Helps our adventure guests. So they're easier to, to please. We could also get the fountain afterwards, I suppose. All right, let's get the uh, fossil display, I think. Oh, the fossil display is actually very expensive. Four, six, nine, eight. The fountain, then, I suppose. Appeases the uh, luxury crowd over here, right? All right, let's get the fountain. Eleven. Sorry, just looking at uh, our numbers over here. So that's. I'm pro okay. Profits are looking really good now. I mean, I'm much more comfortable with where we are right now than where we were literally when we opened this menu. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a fountain. Yes. Let's also maybe get ourselves a fossil display. I don't know just how much of a difference this makes. You know, like just how much of a difference does this make in terms of uh, how much guests are like willing to spend and stuff like that. Oh, that 13k already. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, the fossil display as well, and we could also get a selfie spot or something. It's not enough to properly satisfy these guys, so maybe we don't overinvest over here, right? And we put up a different amenity later on that um, that takes care of a different type of guest entirely, right? Well, this is great. Oh man, this is actually oh, this is so cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, like we knew it was coming, but it is still cool to just have the. Uh, the park be open and, and to have people roaming around and checking the space out i hope they're having a good time and we can also of course um do all the uh uh like decorative elements to to match the jurassic park aesthetic which is definitely something to consider if i'm not mistaken choppers are probably going and coming back i want to actually catch a chopper lift off and come back with new guests but we are getting new guests it looks like oh 157k oh yeah we're looking good folks we are looking good look at that beauty Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, fantastic. Still, still, I want to bank a little bit of money, right? You don't want to spend money as soon as you get it. You want to bank a little bit, uh, especially since 
on the topic of banking, uh, loans aren't an option. So let's let's play it let's play it carefully here. We do have power now. So let's take a look at our whoops power options here. Um, so we've got the small substation provides power to structures in a radius when linked to a power station by pylons. We've got our pylons over here to actually do the connecting, and then we have our small power station. An output of sixty upkeep per minute is fifty k. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Amenity coverage is low, is it now? All right, fair enough. Maybe we should take a look at that first. I mean, it's expensive upkeep per minute. It'll save us a lot of money in the in, in the in the in the long run, right? I was just ready to pick it up right now, but maybe I should wait a little bit because it, it is it is gonna hit our uh, our rate of of income. We should probably put down another amenity though. Let's take a look at not operations, sorry, but uh, management views. Restroom coverage is looking pretty good. Looks like we have a cutoff over here. Do we really need to go further than that? 85. I mean, I guess I could put a restroom down right after people get off the uh, uh, the, the, the chopper. That That is an option. And it does make sense, you know. Uh, it's, pro it's a long flight, so it does make sense. So very well. Let's go ahead and if, in a worst case scenario, we can move it afterwards if need be. The only trouble is that we don't have power up here. And do I really want to get another generator up there? Uh, or do I have a generator? I do have a generator down over here, right? Whose radius is just not good enough. We could have a restroom over here next to the visitor center. Is that, again, that also makes sense. I could do a connection from up over there down to here. Right? Uh, something like that. Or something like that, maybe. How about... I'm trying to figure this out. I was figuring out how we can like slot this in nicely. Unfortunately, we don't have like a beautiful curve we can make or anything. Oh, we could do this kind of a thing. Sure, let's try that. 25k. Worthwhile expense. Hopefully this isn't a waste of uh, money or anything. Go ahead and get our path from over here. Down to here. And from over here, we can connect without the curve, preferably. Uh, come on now. Straight out. Ah, no, we have to have a curve, unfortunately. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and do uh, that. I think that looks quite nice, and hopefully that'll help with our... Look at that. Re oh, okay, right. Time to get some power back over here. Just a little bit at a time right now, again, to manage our, our financial situation, right? Because we're right back down to 171 as, as those expenses, you know, climb up. Also, the funny thing is, like, profits are... Uh, like, income happens in, in, in bursts, right? It's like... It's not like a constant flow. Oh, it looks like the chopper doesn't actually lift off and land. I would have liked that visual. But it's not like it's a constant flow, a constant tick of, oh, plus 100 every 30 seconds or something. It is, um, you know, every, it feels like every 30 seconds there's a big drop off of, of, of wealth. Uh, and how are we looking over here? 16k profit. All right, that's good. Restrooms. We can't charge for them, can we? We charge for restrooms in this game? You cannot, unfortunately. Restroom coverage is looking good. Shelter coverage, not so much. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Did we even need the second restroom? Because this guy's saying 96% now. Look, it's fine. It's fine. Previously, it said we needed the uh, coverage up over here. Looks like people are happy about uh, having that coverage, so fair enough. And I also don't mind how that looks. I wonder if we put another bunker down now or if we wait a little bit. 156. Well, let's, uh, let's give it some time. Let's double the speed a little bit. And unfortunately, the park tour, it doesn't look like we can. We're not even get getting any guests. It is operational. That must just be like this uh, this month or whatever, right? Five vehicles, it's operational. People can certainly walk to it, but it seems as though no one is uh, is using it. And we can't even adjust how much we charge for it or anything. Like, it's a free ride, it has to be. It's kind of strange. Uh, over here, we've got guests visiting, yes. But again, we I guess this is like, uh, yeah, you, you only pay to, to come to the park. You don't pay for the individual um, viewing galleries or anything. Oh, people are missing out on some action over here. What do you got going on? You guys getting out of there okay? Yeah, off they go. Good stuff. Good driving. <laughs> they really got cornered there. That's terrifying. Um, but yeah, I guess you can only charge for food. Amenities, rather, I should say. And, uh... And, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, entry. So we got the Jurassic World panels. No, no, no. I want the Jurassic Park. Look. Oh, we're running out of power here again. Maybe I should just top up. We don't. We can't afford it. Fair enough. We can't afford it. Um, back to you. So we've got again. This doesn't cost us anything. So we've got the Jurassic Park look. We have 
concrete, concrete with parapet. All right, fair enough. Medium Jurassic World. No, 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 no. We want a large Jurassic Park. Thank you very much. Ooh, entrance location. Uh, centered, like middle is fine. Wooden columns. Oh, I like the metallic columns. Ooh, I like the balustrade better, actually. There's the Jurassic Park thatch. All right, let's go with the thatch. What about outside? Small planters, tables, and chairs. I just like, it visually just feels a bit more uh, active, you know? And let's keep it a donut shop. Let's keep it a donut shop. We can, of course, uh, change, I do believe, what it actually sells, right? Um, and we can also change, like, drinks and things like that. If need be, accommodation rating has dropped below 90%. Okay, fair enough. Money's looking good, though. We're back to making money. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Good stuff. Ticket sales per minute. Amenity revenue. People are eating. People aren't able to drink or buy any gifts or anything, so that's obviously uh, hitting us. We are finally, though, profitable, like, on a, on a monthly uh, basis. So, promising. Oh, it's actually, it looks really nice, actually, seeing, seeing the crowds come through. People are actually, yes, visiting the hatchery. Neat, all right? I, I do wish people were using the, uh, the rides, though. A little, a little surprised at that. It says it's operational. I just want to make sure that I don't have it, like, unchecked or, or you know... Uh, inactive or something like that. Oh, we are getting guests. Okay, wonderful. We are getting guests. However, uh, right as we're getting guests, I'm going to edit our uh, track over here. We're actually going to get rid of you. Get rid of you. We're going to put the gate down. Oh, where's my orthographic view? Down over there. I'm going to go ahead and get some more power back. I don't want to immediately have to put people into a shelter. You know, that would be Troubling. Oh! We are at one and a half stars, give or take. It looks like one and one third stars, actually. And we have, yes, we have made some money. This is promising. <laughs> this is promising. Close the report. Patience is a virtue with this kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and make sure we are, you know, properly profitable before we, um... Before we, uh... Overinvest in something and, and end up having an, an incident, right? Uh, back to you, buddy. Go ahead and edit our route. Let's add concrete like so. Oh, it's got like a wonky curve, doesn't it? Okay, what if we do that and like force the curve ourselves? Much better. And then from here up to there, like so. Done. Much better. Thank you very much for that heads up. Oh, god damn. Of course I put it. <sighs> It's like, well, can you not sense the inside versus the outside game? Come on, man. You for real? You for real? Now I gotta demolish this thing and, and put it back in? Come on. Gives me a marginal refund. You don't get all your money back. That is a waste of money. That is a waste of money. Alright. Oh, did you hear that? Approaching storm. Not a fan. Not a fan. Very soon. Storm warning, yeah. How approaching is it? Looks like it's here right now. Alright, fair enough. That's too soon, man. That's too soon. Alright, let's open our shelters. All shelters open. Let's make sure power is coming through. Money's looking alright, at least. Money's looking alright. Oh, look at that. People rushing over, man. We were at double speed, sure, but people are rushing over. Alright, very well, very well. We need better shelter coverage, for sure. Accommodation rating is not that great. Uh, I wonder if a minute, more amenities of more variety would help with that. Let's go ahead and get a shelter maybe up over here as well. Uh, where are we? Guests. Emergency bunker. Yeah, this wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, kind of terrifying for the first thing you see to be uh, a, a shelter. But also maybe reassuring in some ways. Do we need power? Oh, we actually don't need power for these, which is a surprise. But very well. If I put you down over... Here, maybe? Building constraints, because we're in the terrain up there. Alright, hook you up to, to the path over here, like so, maybe? I would like to make this look a bit more attractive, by which I mean maybe hide it behind some trees. But let's go ahead and put you down over here. I don't think... I always like this kind of pathing. Alright, looks like we're good. Close all shelters. Go back to shopping, go back to spending money. That wasn't so bad, that wasn't so bad. Alright, alright. Requires operational science center. What happened to our science center? It has been damaged. Go ahead and uh, repair it then. Wait, is it really just done by these guys in their uh, 
in their little uh, vans here. I guess so. 200,000. I mean, I'm not doing any research just quite yet, so I can hold off on that, but that gives you an idea of like when things go when things go wrong, they go real wrong because we got the hatchery damaged over here as well. Right, so that's I can assume that that's 400,000 total, right? Between, yeah, 200k here and 200k there, 400k, that's pretty much all of our money. Fortunately, we are not at present needing either of those uh, services, so we can hold off on those. Let's instead go ahead and get some amenities for our guests. We need to get, I would say, the um, maybe some drinks or something going down, right? Because we've got food over here. Why don't we add some drinks? Uh, if we can fit it. Oh, come. Don't do this to me, game. I have to rework this. Uh, this ride a bit more, this this uh, park tour. We put you down like that. Oh, there we go. All right, sure, I'll uh, I'll take it. Take what I can get. Come on. Pop you down there for drinks. Go ahead and look at that. Already profitable. Are you for real? Excellent. Configure you so we have a fossil display and a fish tank as well. Well, let's get a fountain. Let's get a fossil display. And let's get a fish tank. Oh, well. I wonder, guests want more food amenities? Alright, I just put down a drink one. I mean, I can change it to to being a drink one. Oh, you know, that probably happened because we ran out of fuel again. Very soon, I would like to start getting our, our power facilities down. Because, uh... Well, I think for obvious reasons. Make sure you're hooked up over here. I think we're hooked up. Oh, we could actually, eventually, when, when the time comes, we could make things look a bit prettier, but, I mean, fi 5k is not that bad. Can we do this? No. At least we can widen the, this path a little bit. I don't know if the guests actually see it as a wider path or, or, or what it works like, but I don't mind uh, I don't mind the look of that, for example. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so we've got ourselves some ginger beer. Well, what other options do we have? Are your root beer instead? Well, ginger beer helps across all these guys. Not the average guest, though. Like the your 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 regular... A regular guest, I guess, for, for lack of a better term right now. We're just short of being able to... Uh, let's get the fish tank. What if we do swap over to root beer? Adventure guests a little... Uh, left a little dissatisfied, it seems. But sure, let's do that. It bumps our income up. Sure. Root beer, it shall be. Fantastic. 600k, looking good. Close to 700. Oh my god, don't hit anybody, buddy. Holy crap. What's going on over here? All right. These guys that need repairs, that's fine. That's fine. Again, no no major rush right now. All right, we're looking over here. 64% on accommodation. 83% on shelter coverage. Really? Really? We got good coverage over here. We got good coverage over here. Oh, did that extra road actually screw things up? Because the guests see it as two separate roads? Maybe. Quite possibly. They're saying they want shelter coverage up over here as well. I mean, this hotel, I guess that's fair, right? If things if things go sideways and you're at the hotel, you want to have a shelter nearby, right? All right, let's go ahead and top this guy up one last time. Because there's a lot of consumption in this area, right? So I understand why that's uh, suffering so much. But we have the money now to top it up. And then when we get close to, uh, close to a million, I'll say, we'll go ahead and establish our uh, power supply. Uh, but for now, let's... Yeah, go ahead and establish, where is it, uh, guests, an emergency bunker, 75k, sure. I think it's worth worth investing, and like I said, you know what, fair, if I was living at, if I was at the hotel, I'd feel a lot better if there was a bunker, like, right behind me or something, uh, why don't we actually do it, like, right behind, as opposed to right next to, we might be able to put something else over there, some amenities or something, right, that's a bit more visible, um, pop you down, oh, the gate's in our way, we're too close to it, I guess, can't, mirror you can i hmm, that's too bad all right fair enough let's go ahead and do this kind of a thing yep pop you down there get our path set up over here pull you out that way minimize the distance obviously good stuff and then we can eventually put down you know all these decorative elements i, I do want to doll the place up as it were just uh, a matter of our financial situation. <laughs> oh, we got all the signage and stuff as well. Oh, dude, we'll absolutely be putting the signage down. I'm so excited. So excited to be like getting fully and properly into it and now having like a full, like full on schedule in place as well with proper like release timings and stuff. I'm, I'm a person who likes a bit of uh, uh, order in my in my life. So so that'll that'll be that'll be quite nice. 
Why don't we go ahead and just put down some trees for now, right? Oh, because it's really expensive. 17,000. I could have put down so many planters for the money I just wasted there putting nothing down. Yikes. All right. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Go ahead and get uh, one of these guys. What do you actually do, though? I, I assume I assume there is a guest appeal. Yeah. The least appealing. Oof. <laughs> People aren't really loving these spaces, and that's that's fair. So I imagine if we put down some decorations, let's get the uh, planters down. A little bit like that. I'm just going to experiment with this first before I overcommit. Uh, get a couple of these uh, smaller ones down as well. Can I attach you? Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Not going to overdo it right now. If, if we ever do start overdoing it, I'll probably do it in like time-lapse form. A couple of these. What about, uh, what about a couple of these rock ones? It'll make it look appealing as you're headed to the shelter, and then and then it really gets desolate. Because it's like function over form when it comes to safety, right? Alright, let's see what that does to guest appeal. Well, it's not unappealing, right? It's no longer least appeal. So there's that. Cool. Alright, fair enough. We, 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 we know for a fact that that works now. So let's go ahead and get ourselves an <laughs> East Dock sign. You for real? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get maybe a planter... Out like this. Will it fit over here? No, it won't. Alright, fair enough. So let's go ahead and do one of these. Good to see guests actually going in here as well. Pop you in the middle like that. And like that. And we'll see what other decorative elements we can maybe get down the line. I mean, there's also lamps and stuff like that, of course. Or we can do something like that and that. Don't think that's very centered. Uh, close enough. We can we can adjust these things afterwards. Oh yeah, you can really bring life to this these spaces. Accommodation rating is still. I mean, it's nice, but not nice enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I wonder, uh, is that the hotel? I, uh, accommodation to me means hotel and sixty nine percent. Very well. How can we improve that? Visible dinosaurs zero. Are you for real? <laughs> there were some here moments ago. Local dinosaur appeal zero. Where where are these dinosaurs? Should I airlift them to, to be in view? What is your territory? Take a look at... Um... Oh yeah, these guys do roam. They do come through. Maybe we can get some more uh, Triceratops, I suppose. And, and just have them roaming a bit more actively. We have the money now. We are over a million, so that's promising. Um, is there anything else? Right, power. Let's do power first. Because that's a constant... You know, expense that keeps popping up, but things are looking good. Close the report there. Head on over to our uh, small power station. Now, again, every pylon we have to build uh, will cost us money, but I do want this power station to be somewhere, I guess, a bit more sequestered. I don't want it to be super visible to our guests or anything like that. Like back over here, I think makes sense. It's a nice, it kind of fits in quite nicely as well. We'll pop this back over here. We'll need the pylons to attach. Hmm. It has to be overhead, doesn't it? Too bad. Maybe we'll bring it down across this way or something. Try and make it blend in. All right, we'll see. We'll see. I'm okay with this spot, though, I think. Order of a million. Down you go. And, of course, the pylons start from up over there because most convenient <laughs> to be difficult like that. But, yes, it is, it is overhead pylons. Oh, and they're quite, like, large, too, eh? They are, they are, they are, they are quite visible. Let's put it that way. Well, the first thing to do is take electricity over water. We all know that's the uh, safest way to go about it. We'll start with that. And let's go ahead and pull you out to here. And I get small substation. Okay, good. They are small. They live up to their name. Get a small substation right next to the backup generator. Oh, the radius is really small though, eh? Okay, hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. Let's take a look at our research real quick. Um... Do we have arc rating of three? I was gonna say, do we have like a large power substation? Uh, you gotta have like you gotta build some before you'll have uh, access to uh, to the the more advanced stuff. Fair enough. I like that type of progression, so I'm okay with that. I was just hoping for uh, for the best there. Small substation. All right. How do we conveniently ex 
extend this one. Pylon. There we go. Convenient enough. Hop you down. Over here, I suppose, gives us the most coverage across the most things. Oh, I like the wires swaying in the wind, actually. That's quite nice. Uh, yeah, let's put you down here. Continue the pylon. Over this. No power. Not, not actually. We'll get another power station somewhere up over here. I'm thinking... Oh, actually, you know what? No, there's the backup. Wait, where's the backup generator? Power distribution app can only be distributed to buildings and fences using pylons and substations. Very well. Repeater substations can be used to extend power distribution of substations without the use of pylons. Okay, great. Um, this is a small substation over here. Where is our backup generator? This is the guy, right? Go ahead and just check to make sure. Yeah, we have plenty of fuel. Okay, so so it was a false alarm. We don't actually, we're not actually low on power. Better safe than sorry, though. I don't need dinosaurs running around. Uh, why don't we go ahead and pull you up and across this way, right over the, the crossing over there. I think it works well enough. And let's go ahead and get this guy up over here. I mean, you'd feel better knowing you have dedicated power to your uh, facilities, right? I think so. I think so. We can, again, doll, doll, doll up the space around it. I just... Give me that orthographic view, man. I want to see top down. I want to see my straight lines, damn it. <laughs> All right, let's pop you down over here. The question is, can these pylons... Yes, they can. All right. So what is our power coverage looking like, actually? we got... Small substation requires power. This guy needs a path. Let's go ahead and get that attachment done over here. We are at 1.6 million. Money is looking all right right now. Power stations generate power output. Yeah, each structure has an amount of power consumption. Yeah. Increase your total output by using building upgrades. Yeah. All right, cool. So this guy is generate is operational. He is outputting power. Yeah, excellent. We are receiving power over here and over here. I do wonder if I... Hmm. Well, we'll let the uh, we'll let the the backup generators run out of uh, supply and just see what that leaves us with, and then we'll do a bit of a reassessment as to our uh, distribution. We will need power up over here as well, right? Because we only have this backup generator up over here, so we will need, and we've got thirty five unused power still, so that's that's promising. Uh, I could establish one guy like right over here, literally right over here, right? Uh, maybe down over here instead. Pop you over to there. Get you down over here like so. Building constraints. Oh, come on. There's plenty of space. Why you gotta be like that game? Why you gotta be like that? Just nudge it a little bit over to one side instead, I guess. And that should now fit. There we go. Beauty. Come on. There we go. And now we can actually start doing some repairs and stuff as well. We're coming close to a million. Is this, this is not a full-on storm. It's just raining. It's not a full-on storm. Alternative power distribution is available now as well. Giving us the repeater substation, which allows us to expand the, uh, the, the spread of power. 500k, not a bad idea. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and research the alternative uh, power distribution, and then we'll get right on the fences. To do that, though, we do have to repair our science center. So let's go ahead and add repairs to you. Why don't we go ahead and repair the um, hatchery at the same time as well. Maybe we'll get some more Triceratops and, and make the uh, hotel a bit more appealing uh, as we do that. Four visible dinosaurs. Accommodation rating is 58%. How did it go down despite there being more animals visible? I don't, uh, I don't quite follow. Uh, is the solution to add another hotel that has uh, a different view or is the solution to... Uh, like there aren't options. I, I don't have options. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, at least with amenities, I can customize them a bit. But I feel like I don't have options up there. We could put, like, a gift shop or something down by the hotel. Maybe make it a bit more appealing that way. I don't know if that's the best spot. I think a gift shop makes most sense, you know, by the visitor center or something. As you're on your way out, you hit up the visitor center, you hit up a, a, the, the, the gift park, the, the gift park, the, the gift uh, store, things like that. To me, that makes more sense. You guys are repaired. You guys are repaired. All right. Take a look at our uh, research options over here and get ourselves the alternative power distribution. Let's go for it. 
forget who involved. Bean and... Hmm. I guess... Asgar and Isa. Fair enough. Well, why not? Instead of Isa, we'll get uh, Kuri for the cheaper research rate. That's a significant change in, in, in cost. 30% is, is, is no joke. We'll start that task up, and we'll do... Uh, We'll do the fences as well, which I probably should have done first, truth be told. And once this hatchery is done being repaired, we'll go ahead and... Uh, oh yeah, look, there's a full-on animation for it. Uh, once the hatchery is done being repaired, we'll get some more... Uh, I think Triceratops just makes sense. They'll they'll get along in this space, so we'll be fine on, on, on that front. And hopefully it'll make this uh, accommodation a bit more appealing. Triceratops are a fascinating uh, creature. They, they, they should be appealing enough. We could, of course, alternatively look for some other animals to add in instead. If we take a look at the expedition map, I mean, what options do we have, really? Uh, we've got to unlock all these spots, so maybe I should consider that. Triceratops. There's the the Pachyrhinosaurus, or the Pachyrhinoceros, I suppose. Staff too busy right now. 800k is the uh, the cost there. Maybe we start with some rhinos. Just see how that works out for us, and then we'll we'll look at adding some more new uh, new dinosaurs afterwards. This guy is like skidding along. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I I was not expecting that. What is our safety rating again? That was uh, a bit of a surprise. Not gonna lie to you. Very confused <laughs> at uh, at that happening. Very confused at that happening. All right, two more minutes until this is done. Park rating is looking like one and a half stars, so promising. Promising. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Out of view reduces appeal. They're animals. They're going to run around. They're going to roam free. What do you expect? Very interesting, though. Okay. Amenities. We need some shopping coverage, don't we? We do indeed. All right, very well, very well. Let's go ahead and get uh, at least one of these established. I would say on the way out over here makes uh, makes sense. Um, can we actually, if we take a look at uh, guests, uh, where are we? Small amenity. Can we fit it over here? Nah, this is too big, right? I wonder if I don't uh, shift some stuff around over here. It is a chunky building. It is a chunky building. Let's put it down over here before you actually split off to the uh, visitor center pop it down over here but i kind of want another one of these right next to the med medical facilities again you know if you're lucky you'll see a dinosaur getting taken care of uh, as you're buying maybe it'll inspire you to purchase to help support the uh health of the animals <laughs> that's that's one way of looking at it i suppose sure let's pop you down right over here can i i don't want you to snap actually i think i'd like it a bit further back hmm like so oh no power over here eh all right, we'll have to sort that out. Here we have power. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. I mean, I suppose... Easy enough to solve. All right, let's put you down over here. Oh, we actually do have power over there. No, we don't. It's just the icons getting hidden by the trees. That's kind of funny. Line you up nicely like that. Go. Pop you down. Go ahead and... Add what? Well, first of all, let's 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 get let's get this attached. Let's make sure it's pop profitable before we start uh, overdoing it, right? Pop you down like so. Again, we'll be able to add some decorative elements and things like that. But let's go ahead and continue our endeavors over here in establishing more pylons. We must construct additional pylons, right? Pull you over to here. What I'm thinking is, what if we go down this way, like to there, and then establish a uh, distribution, there we go, over here. Seems like a bit more, like, wide coverage. Go up to here. But, ah, uh, fine. Go ahead and, nope, not demolish then. We can't actually pull this any further back. Oh, we've got the repeater substation. So the repeater substation will attach to a pylon and then push the power out, but over here it's connecting to the backup generator instead. How do I... Oh no, you know what? It, it'll attach to a, uh, a substation, I see. Substation or backup generators. So up over here, in theory, rather than have one of these down... Let's test it out. Minor refunds, but I'll take it. Get rid of these guys. And let's go ahead and get... 
you established over here. Yeah, it looks like we will get power from down there. Go ahead and move you right up to there. What if we do that? Just wonder about fitting something in here. I don't think it'll be possible, but at least some decorative elements maybe. Just to hide all the facilities, right? All the all the function stuff. All right, let's pop you down there. Uh, do I want to actually demolish this guy? Oh, you know, he's pulling from the backup generator, I just realized. That's not pulling from the uh, substation at all. Damn it. Well, interesting. If I get rid of this backup generator, we'll, we'll see if this automatically pulls from that instead. I don't think it will, so we might actually have to uh, move this building. Mm, I just don't know what the reach is like, you know? All right, we'll see when, when the power here, when the fuel here runs out, we'll see what the situation is, and we'll move that accordingly. Meanwhile, up over here, let's go ahead and get this pylon set up like that. Sure thing, and let's go ahead and get you established. Uh, like that, I suppose. Pull this pylon a little bit further up. Even though it'll never be seen, I, I like the pylons to be like straight lines. Pop you down like so, cool. And again, we'll wait to see what happens when this guy loses fuel. Not consuming a lot of fuel up over here, but we'll see what happens, and we'll uh, we'll move stuff around accordingly. Yeah, we've got power over here. We are profitable. Let's go ahead and add a fossil display. Let's get ourselves a fountain. I'm trying to get these uh, adventure guests right, and let's get that fish tank as well. Action figures over here. We could do hats instead. I wouldn't mind. Ooh, leisure wear. Now nah, let's let's stick with the action figures, right? Come on. Who doesn't like a good dinosaur action figure? Let's see how that works out for us. Accommodation rating is at 77% right now. Good stuff. I'm going to get rid of this pylon over here so that we don't have that nasty icon blocking our, uh, our view. That's looking pretty promising. All right. All right. Go ahead and research our upgraded fences. God knows we'll need them sooner rather than later. I believe you're up, right? Yep. Get uh, Kuri on it. Cheaper research will... I mean, it's a it's a percentage reduction, so you do want to... If he's getting tired, you do want to save him up for the more expensive stuff. So here, you know what? Let's actually get uh, not him on it. Because there's more expensive research that I would like him on. Being on her own is just too much. Polard? No, we, we want our synthesis and incubation available. Let's go with uh, Makubuya. Ah, screw it. Let's go with Bean. <laughs> She's just so capable herself. Go ahead and start that task. And let's go ahead and get ourselves some more rhinos as well, shall we? Synthesize rhinos? Why did I say rhino? I was thinking about the uh, Paki Rhinosaurus. Sorry, tri Triceratops is what I meant to say. <laughs> let's get some more Triceratops over here. We do have the Dilophosaurus available. Um, we could establish a new enclosure, but the moment we do that, some of these numbers will suffer, and I would like to get to the next stage before we start uh, putting ourselves... Uh, in that situation. I wonder if the Dilophosaurus should instead be over here, and over here we get like the T-Rex and stuff. You know, I was talking about the Dilophosaurus down over here, but I'm, I'm wondering if uh, if we switch it up a little bit. But for now, let's stick to our Triceratops. Uh, go ahead and modify the genome, and see if we can't come up with uh, something rather interesting. Um, what do we have over here? Increased lifespan. We have one modification available. Make them a bit more resilient, perhaps, or just make them a bit more tolerant, you know? Oh, not a bad idea. Weak, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I'm fine with that for now. Let's go ahead and 210k. All right. Very well. Assign scientists. Of course, we need Polard here for the faster synthesis. And let's go ahead and get, uh, ooh, Uskar. Takes us over the uh, environment. Faster extraction. Sure, yeah. We'll save Isa for the faster incubation. Start that task there. Good stuff, good stuff. That won't take very long at all. All right, feeling feeling very good now. I was getting very nervous because I saw a lot of people talk about, not just in the comments, actually. I saw a lot of people talking about uh, money, but I saw a lot of people in, like, like reviewers and stuff as well, like, um, you know, websites that I that I occasionally check, uh, check out. Uh, we're talking about, like, how punishing it can be. And I'm still nervous about it. I'm not... <laughs> I don't want to get cocky or anything. I'm still nervous that we're going to end up... Uh, in a storm that drains all of our wealth, but, ha, a storm drain, uh, but 
I feel a bit better now than I did when I, when I started this session when I was tremendously nervous. But we are profitable. We're at 1.4. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, these guys all have weak, eh? That's fine. I don't mind them not having good attack capabilities. Unfortunately, we do have an aggressive dinosaur here as well, which I'm not okay with. So let's go ahead and get these three Triceratops. Very fitting. They are tolerant. It's funny, this one's aggressive. Oh, okay, okay, it's not tolerant as well as aggressive. That would be funny. So let's go ahead and pick these three out. Assign scientists. It's going to cost over a million. It gets pricey. It gets pricey. Faster incubation here. And let's go ahead and get uh, Makabuya, perhaps, to take us over the, uh, the limit. And then we'll we'll try and rest up these, uh, these scientists as well. Wow, right down to 400k. Less than half a million, just like that. Just like that. Now, we actually haven't had a fence incident in a while, so that makes me feel a lot better. But as we, you know, gear up to add, I hope, the Triceratops soon, uh, that'll obviously be, uh, be a problem, right? Like, not, not, not a problem, but a requirement, I should say. What's the deal over here? 66% now. Yeah, if anybody has any thoughts on, like, the fluctuations, I mean, I guess it's because fewer visible dinosaurs right now, right? It's just a little funny to me because... I mean... You're at the hotel. Would you would you rather the hotel be inside the range over here? That seems kind of uh, wild, right? All right, successfully raised to maturity. Let's go ahead and all right. Let's let's try something here. Let's try something here. Let's release via airlift and go ahead and pop them all down. Heading to pick up the asset. Right over there. Right. You get a bunch of rhinos right in your face. That should be appealing, right? Rhino. Why do I keep calling them rhinos? What's wrong with me today? Jeez. <laughs> Triceratops. Hey, your park rating and profit has grown by 26% this month. Keep up the good work. Awesome. That's promising. All right, hang on a second. Uh, capture mode. Rhino. Why? Oh, gee. It always throws me off when they suddenly start swinging like that. It's like, that's kind of terrifying. All right, hopefully they'll stay put over here. And it's not like... I mean, I guess I could put some, uh, some of their food stuff down over here, like the vegetation. With carnivores, you physically put down like feeders and, and things like goats and stuff, right? Uh, with these guys, you just kind of have their, uh, you kind of have their, um, their type of terrain, basically. There's number two. Right, this guy's already gotten out of the viewing range while this guy gets added over here. This poor guy, he's so terrified. Oh god, I'm stuck underneath. There we go. Can you imagine being dropped off like that? Yeah, he's letting his displeasure be very well known. Like, that is not okay. God, they're so good looking. Such an impressive job with these guys. Where's our next one? There it is. <laughs> it's terrifying. I'd actually be more scared of that if I was in the hotel. It's like, what if, what if something breaks? What if something snaps? And we just have a Triceratops in the hotel. Alright, they've all arrived. Hopefully they're happy, happier than they sound. Oh no, uh, STR001. Go ahead and get our... Ah, uh, I thought I learned my shortcut keys. I guess I did not. Alright, fair enough. Uh, I did, however, manage to uh, thank you again for your suggestions. I did manage to get rid of the auto panning camera. It is in the settings, thank God. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it was one of those things that was uh, really, really throwing me off a little bit how much the camera was uh, taking control away from me. Yeah, look at that. We we dropped a bunch of dinosaurs. The uh, the accommodation rating actually dropped over here. Small hotels provide accommodation for 400 guests and provide close distance dinosaur visibility for park guests. Hmm. Huh. Any thoughts? I welcome them. I, I could just add another uh, another hotel, I suppose, close to the Velociraptors, so people can uh, can have some variety. That'd be more for adventure guests, I suppose. Where do the raptors typically stay, though? They're like all by the water over here, I suppose. This guy's just having a little nap. <laughs> hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I wish you could zoom in without having to go into capture mode, but it is what it is. He's just yeah having a little nap over here. Fair enough. Oh, storm time. Let's go. Open all shelters. Buildings damaged. Ah, uh, see, this is the thing. It's like when 
when these substations start to get damaged, that's when you have trouble, right? That's why you have the backup generators and you hope that they don't both get knocked out. But all it takes is for like power to be lost at a fence when you have one of the bigger dinosaurs and, and that's that. Oh, that looks really nice though. Fence broken. All right, disease contracted, everything goes down all at the same time, eh? Ranger team one, stop your status, check. Oh geez, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's a lot of damage out there. That's a lot of damage over here as well. Come on, come on. Back it up, back it up. Yeah, see, that was entirely intentional. Hopefully we don't end up hitting any, uh, any guests. So we've cleared the space, right? So we should be okay. Why am I not turning? Oh, wow. Does the game actually change how the vehicles control in the middle of a storm? That's pretty cool if it does. Amenities come in different types. Configure them. Uh, yes, I've... Uh, uh, weird that it should come up now. There's going to be less appetite for dinosaurs if our guests' appetites aren't taken care of. I see. That's why. Because, um... Wow, the handling really completely changes. The break time is very different. I like that a lot. I know it might sound random, but that's actually really cool. That they've they've actually put in some, uh... Oh my god, there's raptors on the loose. Okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is, uh, uh-oh. Uh, let's go ahead and get on them. Let's go. Let's get, uh, you... Where is our, this guy? Go ahead and repair. Is there any broken fencing? No, there is not. Lost the backup generator over here. Oh, we need power. There's a broken fence, actually. Go ahead and repair that. Go ahead and repair these as well. Let's go quickly now. Where is our chopper? Capture team, add you and you. Come on, quickly now, quickly now. Let's go, hurry it up. Let's go ahead and pull these guys as far back as possible. Let's go. Pull you back to there. Good stuff. Okay, this is a much wilder storm. This is a much wilder storm. Bring this Velociraptor back over here as well. Looks like it might be subsiding. Yeah, okay. Oh, boy. That was, uh, that was something. Okay. Okay, that was something. I got so distracted by driving around. But yeah, I see why that prompt came up. It's because the construct and operational small amenity and guest attraction came up. Which, fair enough. We do need... Oh, these Triceratops are not having a good time. They did not like the uh, the storm, I assume. We could trank them just to calm them down a little bit, I suppose. And it looks like the common cold has been taken care of, but we have other issues, of course. Let's go ahead and calm these guys down. All right. And let's go ahead and... Uh, where's our medical? There we go. I was like, where's our medical incident? And is it still active? It is indeed. Let's go ahead and pull you over and take care of these guys, please, and thank you. Yikes. What else do we have going on over here? Go ahead and close all shelters. We don't need them anymore. These guys are all good. Looks like we're all sealed up over here. Yeah, good stuff. So with the backup generator down, it did look like... Oh, this, this thing was disconnected, wasn't it? Okay, real quick here, let's deactivate you. Fencing is getting all the power it needs, but this thing does need to be moved. Let's 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 plan ahead rather than have it happen in the middle of a storm, right? You, you, you. All right, look. I'm gonna go ahead and demolish this guy. Or I could move him instead, right? It does cost a little bit of money. 11k is what it costs to move. Might as well demolish you, because what I need to do is I, I just need to establish these pylons. Put you down there. Put you up there and, and, and pretty much get what we had previously. Pretty much get what we had previously here. Because it actually uh, worked. Let's put you down like that and maybe we can cover you up from the, the view from, from this side. Uh, and, and that'll do the trick up there. Come on. Just want to make sure we've got uh, all these guys receiving power. And then I'll go ahead and... This guy's not getting power. All right, well, we can definitely put down a repeater substation. Why attach the backup generator? 
down over here, I suppose. 25k is not the end of the world. What about up over there? Won't get power. Very short range, eh? Very short range. Alright, let's put you down over there, because I do want to establish another staff center potentially up over here, right? So I want to stay ready for that. Let's go ahead and activate you, but we'll be fine once that guy gets built. Over here we have some damage. Let's go ahead and bring our team over to take care of it. Ranger team 2, add tasks please. Repair. It's expensive, doesn't it? 50k. It's not as bad as it was previously, so at least there's that. Repair this as well. Task slots full. Come on now. Ranger team 1 is over with the uh, Triceratops. Here, well, again, these guys are just being tranked. We do have the injury up over there that we'll have to take care of. Why don't we go ahead and add these task slots full. Alright, we'll wait until uh, buddy number 1 is done. Up over here, meanwhile, we will need to trank you and bring you back to, uh, to be taken care of. A major injury from the storm. That's unfortunate. Oh, that is sad, isn't it? That is sad. Why don't we go ahead and get uh, you tranked up? And then we'll get them uh, brought back for, for healing at our Pelio Medical Facility. Yeah. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. We've handled this before. We've handled much worse. Folks, that last storm was uh, a bit more indicative maybe of, of what's to come. We are down to sub 400k right now. We have opened up all the shelters again, but you can see what happens to all the income as soon as the, the storm hits, right? So that's why I want to have a bank, right? And that's why I want to be above at least a million at all times, because then when the storm comes and we have to repair something as an emergency, like fencing, I'm not at a negative balance. Because what ends up happening is if there's a storm and there's broken fences and we are at a negative balance, that's done. That's the end of the park, right? Because you can't open those shelters up because you have dinosaurs running around because you've got broken fences that you can't repair because you have no money. Yeah, you can maybe go out and take a couple of pictures, but you're paying all these salaries. By the time you've taken those photographs, uh, you're further in the red. So that is not a loop I want to get caught in. So I'm feeling quite good about the way we're moving so far. Um, again, liking staying above a million as our target. Let's try and get to that 2 million mark and then start getting a bit more frivolous, I guess, with our uh, expenses and, and see how that uh, plays out. But this session went rather smoothly, all things considered, but we did get some warning signs in the form of those two storms. Uh, I will definitely be <laughs> keeping their danger in, in mind, I would say. Uh, where is... I thought I saw... Yeah, buddy over here is hurt. For some reason he's not highlighting. Unless I happen to hover over him. Come on, buddy, where are you? Oh, there you are. Cool. Let's take care of him. Let's take care of buddy up there. And uh, let's see how far we can push Jurassic Park. Not today, of course, anymore, but next time, folks. This is the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, again, you know what to do. Let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. If you have any thoughts, opinions, suggestions, feelings, whatever it might be, uh, leave them down below. I do read all the comments and I will take them into consideration as we move forward, hopefully adding the uh, Dilophosaurus next session and hopefully going out on some more expeditions, doing some research and unlocking maybe some of those sauropods or something and uh, and just, yeah, having access to more. But so far, things are going quite well. We have to improve our guest attraction to see what comes next, but uh, feeling, feeling pretty good. Feeling all right. Feeling all right. Folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.